Hello friends, welcome to IntelliGear and this review of the Interloop battery. Uh, we're out here in the dining room again today so you may hear some noise and that would be these little critters here Gunny and Lady Dog <laughs> the usual suspects hey lady sit sit good girl shake oh good girl Gunny sit shake good good boy alright alright you guys try not to make too much noise okay alright so that's what that noise is gonna be all about is the dogs so um I've had not all the batteries here on the table, obviously, but I've been using the Sanyo Interloop batteries for at least five years, and they've come a long way since they were introduced. Um, this particular battery is now uh, being made by Panasonic. They were uh, Sanyo was purchased by Panasonic, so newer versions are going to say Panasonic on them, but it's the same technology. Don't need to worry about that. Uh, the first generation uh, in a loops, which are these guys here, they can hold 75% um, of their charge after one year. So compared to other rechargeable batteries, that's pretty good. Uh, most other rechargeable batteries after a year, they've only got 50% of their charge left in them. These will hold 75%. These are the first generation. Uh, let me bring this in here. Hopefully we can get a good focus on that here. Okay. Trying to get it focused for you guys. There we go. Okay. So you can see there's a um, HR3UTG. That's the serial number for these. So these are the first generation. I'm telling you this for a reason. So when you go to find these, you get the best ones. Okay. So just... Bear with me. All right, and then the second generation are these guys here, and they come in different colors. See, let me show you. They come in different colors. They come in the dark blue or the light blue. Um, they even have a tropical uh, edition out with different funky colors. So don't be fooled by the color. What you're looking for are these model numbers, okay? So let me uh, get this in here, zoom this in. There we go. And you can see here, this is the uh, second generation. You see it has a little crown there by the plus. And then it has the, uh, the number HR3UTG with an A after it. So these are second generation. Now the second generation battery, <clears throat> excuse me, second generation battery will hold 85%, 85% of its charge after one year of storage. And it, it can be um, recharged 1500 times, 1500 cycles. I don't know if I mentioned it, but the first generation, which you're probably not going to be able to find very much anymore, but that, that has a thousand cycles. And I've had these a long time and they still work. So anyways, okay, so that, that, that's the second generation, has an A on it. Um, and let's see, let me look at this here. Yeah, okay, so the second generation has the A after it. And then the third generation, um, they would look like these, I'm pretty sure, but then it'll have a B, okay? Now check this out. The third generation has a 1800 charge cycle. So they're claiming you get 300 more cycles out of the third generation as compared to the second generation. And I believe it'll hold 90% of its charge after one year. So some good improvements there. Now, I did find some information that they actually have a fourth generation. Uh, they claim it will do 2100 cycles. And it's, um, it's made by Panasonic. It's got a completely different number though. It's, it's uh, BK3MCC and uh, BK4MCC. So that would be the double A. The 3MCC is the double A. And the 4MCC is the AAA. But good luck finding them, and, and, you know, unless you're good at buying stuff off the internet. Um, and the reason I say that is because these I purchased all of these at Costco. And the reason I get them at Costco is Costco always comes with like extra little stuff when you buy things 
in a kit. For example, these um, these adapters for D and and C batteries, uh, they came in the kit when I bought it at Costco. And it also came with a couple AAAs, which you can see charging back here. Um, and then the other kit I bought came with these little storage containers instead of the spacers. So that's the reason I buy my stuff at Costco, but I know I'm rambling, but the point I'm trying to get across is I just bought this most recent set six months ago. It wasn't like it was that long ago. And these newer generation batteries, the third generation has been out for quite a few years. So I would say that you're probably not going to see the third generation um, at least for another year and the fourth generation maybe two years in your local stores. You're probably not going to see them in the local stores. You'll have to buy them online. But that being said, these, these batteries here, they still, you know, provide an impressive um, capability. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Alright, so, I mean, I saved one of the packages because I knew eventually I was going to do a review on these. So, I saved one of the packages here. Um, oops, I'm just knocking batteries all over the place. That's kind of what the package looked like, obviously, with the charger and the batteries in there. And then, um, let's see, if there's some useful information on here, you guys might want to pause the video and read it. I'm not going to read all that stuff, but I'll just give you a moment to kind of look it over. All right, so this charger, you have the ability, you have to charge at least two at one time, but you, you have the ability of charging up to four, and you can mix and match, okay? So... Um, you could have the double A's go in right next to the triple A's. Um, the thing you want to keep in mind about this is you must charge the like size together. You cannot charge a double A and triple A in one slot. Okay, you can you can charge two double A's or four double A's or four triple A's or two double A's and two triple A's. I, I hope you guys are understanding what I'm saying. You can't have this sitting here and that sitting there just charging like that. Don't do that. Uh, the light will come on, but it's not good for the battery. <clears throat> okay, so um, what else could I tell you about these things? Okay, yeah, so the other thing is these, um, these batteries, they're, they're Nymin or nickel metal hydride. And unlike the other um, dry cell batteries, these are actually, they have liquid in them, and that's what allows them to be able to store for so long. I mean, five years later, this still has like 50% charge in it. So, um, unlike the other batteries, where once, um, you know, once once you charge them, they, I mean, after a year, they're dead, you know, so, or after a couple years, I guess. But anyways, so that's one of the reasons that that can... Um, these this particular battery can do that and it also has a, a pretty large capacity let me bring this back up here and you'll be able to see once I get it focused of course sorry trying to get it focused here for you guys there we go okay you'll be able to see if I can find it there we go um, the minimum for these is 1900 uh, milliamp hours okay so, I mean, just go look at a, an alkaline. And that's the other thing too. These, on the power curve, um, they produce a higher volume of power for a longer duration than um, your regular alkaline battery. You know, if, if your regular alkaline battery, they, they start, you know, they, they both start at the same spot the alkaline is slowly, 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 slowly going down, and it might last a little longer. But these batteries, they'll they'll stay at the high output longer and then drop off. So that's uh, something that's good. You can use these batteries in any devices. Um, they're they're you know not going to hurt any of your devices. And one of the the reasons I got these besides the long storage shelf life and all that stuff is because I wanted to uh, charge them 
with a solar charger. So I purchased this uh, this Goal Zero solar charger um, for the express purpose of charging my double A's. Double A's and triple A's are the most sold batteries in the world. That's why I chose to go with double A. If you're interested in um, my philosophy on the batteries, I'll put a link up here and um, you can watch that video and it'll explain how I go about storing my batteries and all everything batteries. And if you're interested in um, you know the solar panel thing, um, let me just open this up real quick so you can see what I'm talking about. See that there's double A's in there so I can charge these in this solar kit. But if you're interested in watching that video, just um, I'll put a link here and uh, just click that. Click up here for that link. Okay? So that's, uh, that's something to keep in mind is if you're going to buy these batteries, you can um, save yourself a lot of money over getting the disposables. You're doing the environment a favor too. And you can use them when you're out camping and, and, and recharge them so you don't need to bring those throwaway batteries anymore. Forget the disposables, you can go this route. Now, I'm not a tree hugger, but I just did I did want to point out, and this this applies to um, most batteries now, but if you see on there US and Canada and it says recycle, you can call that number and find a place that will take these batteries off of your hands for free. Um, I know some other places they have recycle services too, like I think Target has it and Best Buy where, you know, if you can just think ahead, put your old batteries that are no good anymore, put them in the car, and then when you go up to uh, Best Buy or Target, um, just throw them in the recycling. It's better than them winding up in the landfill and maybe polluting the water um, and stuff like that. So. Okay, so I think that's about it. If you made it this far into the video, I, I think I deserve a like, so click the like button. It's um, down below, a little thumbs up button, or, or it's also on the screen at the top in the black part, and click that. Also, um, if you like this video, be sure to check out my other videos. I'm gonna put some links to videos at the end of this, so you could check those out. And then, um, you know, don't forget to subscribe if you do like the videos. Please feel free to leave comments and share my videos with other uh, people. And that's, uh, that's all, I think that's it. Yeah, so yeah, thanks a lot, guys. This is IntelliGear signing off. Until next time, be well. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win. Hello friends, welcome to IntelliGear and this review and history of the Fisher Space Pin. Because that goal and challenge was accepted by Paul Fisher, I hold in my hand the most advanced pin ever used on Earth or the moon for that matter. You have uh, a pouch that carries all of your accessories. These are what came with the kit when I bought it. So you got the uh, battery charger here. We'll get into that more in a, a moment. <clears throat> Excuse me. You have an adapter so you can also charge um, triple A's as well as the double A's that came with it. And then you have different type adapters here so you have um, a USB adapter and a car charger, 12 volt type adapter. And then you got these uh, plugs here. Let me flip this around. 
where you can see it. So the nice thing about this is the instructions are right printed right on the, the inside panel. Today I just wanted to share with you my philosophy on batteries. So whenever I buy gear, I try to get um, gear that is going to use the same type of battery. And um, I decided on the AA as my, my common um, battery of choice. And there's a couple different reasons. I'll get into that a little later. But as you can see here in front of you, there's different equipment, flashlights, radios, ham radios, um, and walkie-talkies, things like that. And they can either run off of AA or they run off of AA. And what I mean by they can run off of AA is, for example, that silver flashlight, it actually takes D batteries, but with the help of a um, adapter, it can run off of double A's. So here's some examples of uh, adapters. Mm -hmm. 